If you guys need your badges maxed out fast and legit, hit up Star Grinders on Twitter or Instagram and tell them JR sent you. Their links will be in the description down below. If you want to max out your defensive badges extremely fast, make sure y'all boys watch the whole entire video. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy JR, y'all boys know I'm back with another banger. And in this video, I have another NBA 2K21 next gen badge method tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show y'all boys the fastest way that you guys can grind out your defensive badges. I know how it is, grinding these badges is not fun, but in these videos, I'm trying to help you guys get your badges as fast as possible. All that asks is make sure y'all boys drop a like. Let's take this video to 100 likes. Also, drop a sub. Turn on post notifications because I'll be dropping these bangers every single day. Also, check out my badge method playlist. I'll link in the description down below. I'll be doing videos on how to get the other badges extremely fast as well. So you guys can check that out if you'd like. Thank y'all boys so much for all the support, man. And I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a few different methods that you guys can use to get your defensive badges extremely fast. Now, I do wanna show you guys my settings and just, you know, a couple badges that you wanna equip first, just to ensure that you get the most badge progression from this method. So, whenever I'm grinding badges, I put the game to goal D on pro because it's just easier to get, you know, rebounds, defensive stops, and get your other badges as well. And you don't get any extra badge progression if you go up on difficulty, so I always play on pro. Quarter length, I usually play on five minutes. The reason I do this is because this allows you to get more games completed, which means you're gonna get more VC for your player because you're playing more games. Even though you know the quarter length is less, you're still playing more games. You're still getting the same amount of badge progression and you're playing more games, which also helps you unlock the gym rat badge faster as well. So when I'm grinding badges, this is what I usually do. Now in this video, I'm showing you guys a 12 minute gameplay just to show you guys how much badge progression you can get. But like I said, I generally play on five minute quarters just to make the grind overall easier. Now, um, as far as your badges goes, it really depends on your position. Like most people are probably gonna be doing this on a power forward build because let's just be honest, that's the best build in the game. So the main badge that, I, that you need for this method is gonna be rebound chaser. And then you guys wanna try and get rim protector as well. Now, if you're doing this on a guard, the main badge that you're gonna want is clamps because if you're doing this on a guard, if you're able to guard ball, you get you know decent progression whenever you uh, get a uh, force pickup ball. But since I'm like a power forward, I'm mainly gonna be in the paint. So we're gonna be going for rebounds and then we're also gonna be going for good defense around the room so yeah man those few things is what you need for this method now i'm going to show you guys a few different ways that you guys can choose the defensive badge progression so the good thing about defensive badges is you don't have to worry about grinding them as hard because they're going to come naturally naturally as you're grinding for your playmaking shooting and finishing badges now here's what i do um if i were you guys i would work on getting your other badges first because like i said your defensive badges will come naturally but whenever you're grinding here's what i do whenever I'm, whenever i'm on defense every single time i press left on the d-pad and that allows you to call for a half court trap so make sure you guys call for a half court trap after each play now with this um, this is going to speed up the game. It's going to give you more possessions and then it's also going to make the AI either shoot bad shots or they're also going to miss. So here's what I do. Whenever I call for a trap, I go and I stand in the paint. So usually one of two things will happen. Either the AI will shoot an open shot and most of the time it'll be a brick because the difficulty is so low, the AIs generally don't hit consistently. So I call for a half court trap and if the AI shoots, I stand in the paint and that allows me to get extremely easy rebounds and I do this every single possession also um a lot of times whenever you call for a half court trap that will also allow for one of the ai's to get open for a cut so whenever you call for a trap like i said stand in the paint and if the ai goes for like a cut or whatever then you're already in the paint and that allows you to get a good shot contest a block or and also a easy rebound so yeah man i do this every single time i'm on defense i either let the ai shoot or whenever i call for a trap um a lot of times the ai will cut since you're already in the paint it allows you to get a good shot contest a block and also a rebound so yeah man this is what you guys can do every single time that you're on defense while also you're grinding your other badges 
as well so like i said these defensive badges will come naturally as you're grinding your other badges as well so yeah man just worry about you know trying to get as many rebounds blocks shot contest all of that throughout the game and you guys will notice that your badge progression will stack up now you guys will see right here i was you know going for my shooting badges but also you know working on defense as well and i almost went up you know a badge just by doing one game while not really focusing on defense the second method is what is what i call a 2k17 defensive stopper method now with this what you guys want to do is you want to stand at half court and then you guys want to throw a lob whenever that happens it's going to lead to a turnover which is also going to lead the ai getting the ball and a lot of times they'll run down the court in transition so after you guys throw the turn throw the turnover all you guys want to do is run the opposite way and then get in the paint a lot of times like i said the ai will be in transition and you'll already be in the paint waiting for them like you guys see right here and that's going to allow you to get a block a good shot contest and a rebound as well so i would only do this method at the very end if you need to grind more defensive badges but if you do method one uh, more than likely all your defensive badges will be you know maxed out anyway but this method right here is what you can use if you only want to grind out your defensive badges primarily so yeah man and for whatever reason after you throw the turnover if you know if everyone gets back on defense in time then you guys want to continue to do method one just start a half court trap and proceed with that method as well and you guys can do this throughout the whole entire game you will get a lot of turnovers and all that good stuff you won't have a good teammate grade but this will Will, this method will allow you to achieve the defensive badge progression so you guys will see right here doing this method i was able to unlock quite a bit of badge progression as well so another way that you guys can grind your badges is by doing these challenges that you guys see in your journal um with these challenges there's 24 in total. You're able to grind your defensive badges while doing this because if you win the game, it's double badge progression and double my points. So before you guys do this, listen very carefully. Um, I would advise you guys to grind your play, all of your playmaking badges first while also grinding your defensive badges because I don't know if these challenges are glitched. You're able to play the same challenge over and over again if you don't score in the game. So get your playmaking badges first by doing the same challenge because it'll let you replay it over and over again. And then that also allows you guys to work on your defensive badges as well. So yeah, man, if you're doing your challenges, you just wanna walk up to one of the characters with the orange exclamation point over the head, go up to them, press A and it'll mark a warehouse where your challenge will be available. So you'll then look at the map and it'll show, you know, the warehouse where the challenge is at in orange like you guys see right here. And then also here's a map of all the locations of all the characters throughout the city. There's 24 in total. However, if you do this method that you're about to see right here, you're able to play the same challenge over and over again. I guess it doesn't register that you completed it because you, you haven't scored. So, you guys, whenever you're doing your challenges, you want to go for your playmaking badges first while also going for your defense. Your defensive badges will come naturally. Naturally, There's really not a cheese that you can do for this game. Just try to play good defense and get rebounds while you can. Whenever you're on defense, whenever, whenever you're on offense, just go to the corner, call for a screen, use a screen, and throw a lob. You're able to do this over and over again for the same challenge, and this is key because you're getting double badge progression each time so you're getting double playmaking badge progression and double defensive badge progression as well and generally whenever i'm playing this i don't even guard the ai half the time because most of the time they be missing and that allows me to get you know free easy rebounds so yeah man that's what i would advise you guys to do if you're doing these challenges because that's going to give you even more time to play these because like i said you, you generally only get 24 in total unless you throw a lobs and don't score and that will allow you to play the challenge over and over again so yeah man as long as you guys win the game you guys will see that you'll get double badge progression for whatever badge that you went for so yeah man that's my uh, defensive method thank y'all boys so much for all support drop like drop a sub i'm out peace